Hello everyone. Today we're diving into amazing Figma tips and tricks that will speed up your workflow and turn you into a Figma wizard. If you're interested in improving your design game even more, be sure to check out our free UX UI design playbook. You can find the link in the description below the video. Now, let's get right into it. Our first tip involves using Figma's delete and heal function. Let's say you want to remove one of the points in a shape. Simply select it and hold down shift while pressing delete. The point disappears, but instead of cutting the shape, Figma heals the path automatically. But what about more complex shapes? Well, let's switch to a line in the shape of a question mark. If your path has too many points, you can select multiple points and hold down shift while pressing delete. Figma will automatically heal the path and smoothen it. Let's move on to our next tip. Imagine you're working on a large Figma file with a lot of similar elements, like these shapes or text elements here, and you want to select all of them at once. First, you just need to select an element, go to Edit, and then select All With and choose the property based on your needs. And just like that, all the elements with the same properties are selected. This feature can be a massive time saver. Okay, let's jump right into the next tip, which is about Figma's Smart Selection feature. Let's say you're working with multiple objects in an array like this. Select objects that you want to tidy up. Now, notice this little grid icon in the corner. Just click on it. It just magically tidied up our objects. You can adjust the spacing between them and drag objects around to rearrange them. The next tip is about adjusting small and big nudge amounts. By default, when you select an object and use the arrow keys to nudge it, it moves by one pixel. If you hold down the shift key while using the arrow keys, your object will move 10 pixels at a time. But maybe you need to make really precise adjustments. Choose preferences and then nudge amount. There you adjust the nudge amounts. So if you want to move objects by half a pixel or 0.1 pixel, you can do that too. Moving on, let's explore a unique feature of Figma using images as styles. In Figma, you can create styles not only for colors, text, effects, and layouts, but also for images. Click on the four dots next to fill, and then on the plus button. Here, you can name your style. We'll call it Lake for now, and then hit Create Style. Now, this image has been saved as a style, and you can apply this style to any shape or font. The Arc tool is a great tool for creating and manipulating curves and circles in Figma. When you hover over the circle, a single handle will appear on the right-hand side. This point determines where you can begin to create an arc. Click and drag the arc handle up or down to change the sweep. This create a gap in the circle. Now there will be three handles shown. The ratio handle at the center of the circle allows you to change the circle to a ring. The start handle indicates where the arc begins. The sweep indicates how complete the circle is. The next tip is about using multiple fills in Figma. This can be particularly useful when you have text overlaying an image and you want to improve its readability. Select your image, and in the right-hand panel, look for the fill property. Click on the plus icon next to fill to add an additional fill. You can adjust the color of this fill to create a nice effect. We can also change this fill to a gradient and adjust the gradient so that the darker part is near the text, further enhancing its readability. The best part is we did all this without needing to add additional rectangles or layers on top of our image. Next up, we have a tip that can save you a lot of time. What if we want the circle to have the same look as the star, including its color, stroke, and stroke width? We could manually adjust these properties one by one, but there's a quicker way. First, select the star, right-click, and select Copy Properties. Now, select the circle, right-click, and select Paste Properties. And just like that, the circle inherits the star's properties, including its color, stroke, and stroke width. All right, moving on to the next tip. We're going to talk about ignoring auto layout using a simple key, the space bar. This is an incredibly handy trick when you want to adjust your layout freely, despite using auto layout. 
Simply select an element and hold down the spacebar while moving it inside Auto Layout. You'll notice that as long as you're holding the spacebar, you can freely move the element around, ignoring the constraints of the Auto Layout. The last tip for today is about Figma's built-in calculator. Suppose you're working on a design and you want to make an object wider by a certain amount of pixels. Just click on the width property of the object, and instead of typing a new number, type plus and some number and press enter. But it doesn't stop at basic math like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You can also use more complex operations, like parentheses for order of operations and percentages. I hope these Figma tips and tricks will help make your design process smoother and more efficient. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe to our channel for more handy design content.